Now, let's solve this. How do we solve this? O, oh, diba? Napakatas ng review, pero at least satisfying. At least you learn from it. Diba? So, remember these things in solving. The order of operations. So, again, we should remember these things. The order of operations. First, if all addition and subtraction in a row work from left to right. Ha? Remember that, ha? Number two, if all multiplication and division in a row work from left to right. Ganyan. Tapos, kung may mga grouping symbols, exponents na, use gem das. Grouping symbols, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. We'll have examples of these. So, tune in, no? Example number one. If all addition and subtraction in a row work from left to right, okay, like this one, okay? 3 plus 12 minus 5 minus 1, okay? So, since we all have addition and subtraction only, work from left to right. So, 3 plus 12, 15. So, continue muna natin, no? Minus 5, minus 1. Ganyan. 15 minus 5, 10. Minus 1. 10 minus 1, 9. Diba? That's just it. Very basic. So, first, look muna ang ano, ang subtraction at addition lang ba ang nasa order operations. If that's the case, work lang from left to right. Very basic. Then, okay, example number two, negative three minus six. Diba, based on our discussion earlier, if ganito, add nyo lang agad ang numbers, put a negative sign. Continue, minus five plus one. Diba? So, negative nine minus five, the same case. Add the numbers, put a negative sign plus 1. Then, lastly, we're adding different signs now. Ano nga ang gagawin? Subtract and copy the negative. Ganyan lang po ka-basic. Okay? Very basic. Now, we have multiplication. So, rule number 3. If all multiplication and division in a row work from left to right, like this one, Tingnan nyo, puro lang multiplication at division. So, if that's the case, walang mga grouping symbols muna, walang addition at subtraction, work from left to right. Okay, so, 3 times 6, 18. So, divided by 2, divided by 9. 18 divided by 2. Diba? 9 divided by 9. 9 divided by 9, 1. That's just it. Very basic. Pero I know, ang sa iba, ang iba dito, makaka-mental math. So, very good. Basta, that's the rule. If it's multiplication and division in a row, work from left to right. Okay? Example number four. This one. Tingnan nyo kung ano ang nasa row. Oh, division, multiplication, division. Ah, if that's the case, work from left to right. So, negative 20 divided by 4 negative 5 times 2, copy lang muna, divided by 10. Pero if ma mental math, go. Very good. Negative 5 times 2, negative 10, divided by 10. Now, we are dividing different signs. So, ano nga? Divide the numbers, 10 divided by 10, 1, and copy. And it should be negative, I mean, because we are dividing different signs. Ganyan lang po basic again i love to learn math i love to learn math i love to learn math ganyan lang paulit-ulit nyo lang yan sa puso at isip nyo diba basic lang kasi basic ang mathematics okay now we have this one tingnan nyo my minus my division my addition hala so paano na okay if that's the case so gem does na the gem does. Pero wala mang grouping symbols. Let's go to 
Jamdas. Diba? Sige. So, ano nga yun ang Jamdas? Jamdas. Grouping symbols, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Yan. So, since wala pang grouping symbols dito, wala mang exponents, wala ding multiplication, so go to division first. Okay, so, 5, copy lang si 5 kasi hindi pa siya kasama. 20 divided by 4. 20 divided by 4. 5. Diba? Plus 10. Copy muna. So, we have 5 minus 5. 0 plus 10. 0 plus 10, of course, 10. Ganyan lang. Diba? Hindi tayo mag-work from left to right kasi may division siya sa gitna. So, unahin natin ang arrangement na. Okay? If it's just negative, I mean, minus and plus, go from left to right. If it's multiplication and division, go from left to right. Ganyan. Okay? Let's have example number six. This one. Tingnan nyo. My grouping symbols? Wala. My exponents? Wala. Diba? So, all subtraction and addition? No. We have multiplication and division. So, still follow the gem does. Pero again, wala mang grouping symbols pa, wala mang exponents. So, ito muna. M does. So, let's have the multiplication, no? So, 20. Copy muna. Ito muna ang iuna natin, no? So, minus 12 times 2, 24. 12 times 2 yan. Divided by 6 plus 10. Let's do it in a step-by-step -step manner, no? Next, isolve na ba natin si 20 minus 24? Hindi pa. May division pa, oh. 24 divided by 6. So, copy muna 20 minus 24 divided by 6. 4 plus 10. Now, may multiplication or division pa ba tayo? Wala na. We only have subtraction and addition. If that's the case, work from left to right. 20 minus 4, 16. Plus 10, 26. And that's it. I love to learn math. I love to learn math. I love to learn math. Ganyan. Ganyan lang iset sa mind nyo. Very basic. Now, let us have this one. Okay. So, this is the posted example. Diba? Parang a month ago pa ito. So, we will solve it now. Okay, using the gem does, of course. Okay, so we have grouping symbols na. Look, my parenthesis, my bracket, my exponent. So, saan tayo dyan uuna mag-solve, no? Saan tayo mag-solve? So, first, doon tayo sa loob ng parenthesis. Ang mga numbers sa loob ng parenthesis. So, let's have here first the first group, this one. Let's deal first with exponent. Kasi after the grouping symbol, exponents na no. So, 4 squared or 4 times 4. So, 16 minus 3. Ganyan lang. Copy dito, negative, minus, I mean minus. Tapos, the second parenthesis. 7 minus 4, 3. Diba? 3 plus 3, 6. So, 6 squared. May 3 pa tayo, minus 3. That's it. Ano nga ang susunod? Deal first ang nasa loob ng parenthesis. 16 minus 3, 13. Then, minus 6 squared, 6 times 6, 36. Minus 3. And, we have... All subtraction. So, work from left to right. Ganyan lang talaga. From uh, complicated or ano ba to complex na example, pa easy. So, 13 minus 36. We are subtracting, no? Maliit ang minuwin. So, ano nga yun? Subtract lang. 23 
have a negative sign minus 3. At pag ganito ang form, ano nga yun ang shortcut? I-add nyo lang again ang numbers, tapos put a negative sign. And that's just it. Very basic. Again, I love to learn math. I love to learn math. I love to learn math. That's just it. Okay, for our last example, you try this at home also, no? Pause mo ng video. Yan, sulat nyo muna sa notebooks nyo, ban papers nyo, paper nyo, tapos solve muna. Compare na lang later. Okay? Pause muna. Okay, so, we have grouping symbols, we have exponents, we have multiplication, we have division. So, ano nga ang rule na gagamitin? Gem does. So, of course, we will deal first doon sa parenthesis. So, we have 1, 2, 3, parenthesis here. No, so first, dito tayo mag-deal. Negative 2 minus 3, shortcut is negative 5. Plus 6. Diba, dapat master nyo na ang shortcut, guys. That's why I reviewed earlier sa mga basics. Para kung bibigyan kayo ng mga ganitong questions, mabilisan na ang pag-solve nyo. Diba? Okay, here. In the second parenthesis, we have multiplication and division. So, if we have this, work from left to right. So, 10 times 4, 40 divided by 8, my exponent pa. Diba? Ganyan. So, copy lang muna. Plus 3 minus 1, 2. Or, wala ng parenthesis. Pwede na. Next. Here. Deal muna tayo dito sa loob. Negative 5 plus 6, we're adding different signs. So, ano nga ang gagawin pang shortcut? Plus, I mean, subtract the 2, 6 minus 5. Tapos, kung ano ang mas malaking sign, which is the 6 positive. Or, wala na si 1, no? Then, ay, wala na si positive, sorry. Wala na si positive 1 na lang. Then, let's work here. Minus 40 divided by 8. 40 divided by 8. 5. Diba? So, 5 squared. Tapos, plus 2. Tingnan, no? Simplified niya. <laughs> Simplified na. So, 1 minus 5 times 5, which is 25, plus 2. If this is the case, work from left to right. 1 minus 25, negative 24. Plus 2, negative 22. And that's just it. Very basic. I know you can solve this in just 10 to 30 seconds. So I know, after answering that, you will surely pass the licensure examination for teachers. Now my homework is this. And write your answers in the comment sections. I'll just like if it's correct or not. Okay? Congratulations for passing the licensure examination for teachers. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more.